Hello, future Pirate King members, and welcome back to another One Piece CCG video. For today, we got you another constructed deck, and for this time, we have the one, the only, Crocodile. Um, honestly, a leader that I kind of, not, not I, not I, no, 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 not I, said the guy. My team slept on. I thought this crocodile leader was pretty good. They all said, nay, it's trash. I want that on the record. I thought crocodile was pretty top tier. Um, but yeah, as of right now, obviously, I prefaced this in the last video that, uh, we have limited cards. Romance Dawn isn't out. All we have is the starter deck and the tourney promos. But obviously, there's some locals that are even running some fun matches, some money pots, and we're trying to help you with the best decks we can give you and in our opinion this is our best version of the current crocodile leader pre-romance dawn before we get into the deck i'll just say what the crocodile leader does 5000 power he's special that's what my mom calls me um five life and for activate main once per turn don minus four return one character with a cost of five or less to the owner's hand that comes in clutch more times than you think think about especially in red all of his attackers are literally five or less um granted they rush but you're still like making their like energy value like null nullified so with that let's go up with our first card which is our just one drop lock blocker law um nothing really special to talk about it's your one drop blocker but it's a seven warlords of the sea which will become very important later on but as of right now it's just your one drop blocker next up is your three drop four of five thousand power edward weevil once again another seven warlord of the sea um he's just mainly one thousand counter power um you can play him i've seen people play him i've seen testing um our actual crocodile player Alex isn't here right now. He, I've seen him play him, but in my opinion, he's mainly combo power, especially like the three drop Robin. You just have better options, but if you need an attack to go in, you always have him. Now, this is the worst bane of my existence because of its trigger. Three drop, 1,000 power, counter 1,000, Boa Hancock. It's a three drop blocker, and you might be like, wait, that's trash why would you ever play that because of its fucking trigger bro have you ever played rush decided to like hit your blue croc player with like five attacks then he's like oh trigger oh trigger oh trigger it's fucking annoying brother um it literally it just helps supports the wall and as of right now it also has not as of right now it does have the seven warlords tag which will be once again uh appropriate in a bit next up is the main bloodline of the deck and will become even better with romance dawn your three drop four thousand centamaru dawn times one activate main once per turn so for two energy play one pacifista with a cost of four or less from your deck then shuffle your deck and speaking of the four drop pacifistas as of right now here is the only one available Four of 6,000 power, Pacifista. The amount of value these two have is insane. Not only is this playing for... You get to play a 6,000 power for three energy, which is unheard of as of right now. Even though there's only four, you can literally just play out your four if your Sentomaru is able to survive that long, which a lot of people will try their best to get this off the field, whether it's Kaido's uh, Who's Who uh luffy's uh gum gum jet pistol or kids putting into arrest and swinging setsumaru is definitely a bane you don't you do not want your croc player to like stack up three of these on field and then it's just 6k swings over and over again but as i was saying it's just this for right now once you get rid of it this literally turns for one extra dawn a live swing so literally the literally especially since you get to search the deck the last turn you realize you have no more pacifist is on deck since you already have don types one he's a live 5k swing you can just start sacrificing and attacking that way next up is our four drop 
Gecko Moria for 5,000 power. I used to sneeze. I used to scoff at this card. But in reality, this card's actually pretty top tier for its effect right here. On play, add one. Seven Warlords in the Sea or Thriller Bark Pirate type characters will cost a four or less other than Gecko Moria for your trash tree hand. So, think about this. Blue is all about control. Blue wants to slowly and steadily kill you. What this allows you to do is not only fish for, um, I don't know why I passed, pointed at Passive Fista, your Boa Hancocks and your Law to keep that wall nice and sturdy and alive. It's also a 5k swing for next turn. So not only are you able to stall with another blocker card for your next turn that you're most likely getting, you're also going for a live swing. Gecko Moria, pretty top tier. There's a reason why he's a 4 of. And another character that the Gecko Mario can fish out is obviously your 4 drop, 4,000 power, 1,000 counter power, Marshall D. Cheech reads on play, return one character with a cost of 3 or less to the owner's hand. And this card is actually amazing. There's not a lot of, um, well there will be when Romance Dawn comes, but there's not a lot of already one uh, on play cards. So honestly, inherently, just because this has an on-play effect, this Marshall D. Cheech is really good. And then once you play it, if it survives, which it most likely will, literally for one extra dawn, it becomes a live swing at five. It's really good. Sometimes if you need a saw, knowing, oh, this guy only has, like, especially in red, let's say they only have two, three cards, you know, oh, he's only playing this three drop. You can repeatedly try to, like, fish out your Gekko Mora if you have this Cheech on field have ways to like put that back like especially against red where they like to play their like lower drop cards they don't really have high boss monsters it's great next up is probably the most confusing card known to existence so let me explain you got your four drop 5000 power dracula mihawk for 2000 counter power and dawn times one when attacking draw two cards and trash two cards from your hand now the reason this is more confusing than me I don't know what I was going to say with that, but the reason why this card is so confusing is because this is not only your 2000 counter power card, as just a normal 4 drop, this card's value is insane. Let's say you have 3 of Edward New Edward Weevils, not only are you now swinging for 6k power, you're also cycling any cards that if you have a dead hand, if you straight up have a dead hand. Let's say you have 3 Centimarus, 2 Centimarus, and you're like, oh my god, I already fished up all my pacifistas, just take out the Centimarus and cycle out. But then you have that, and then you have the most important thing in the One Piece card game, that blessed counter power. So it really is all up to situation. I wouldn't throw this card away just for pure counter power. This Dracula Mihawk is top tier. It just really is what you need at the moment. And yeah. Next up is a 4 drop 5,000 power, 1,000 counter power. Dawn times 1, this character gains blocker crocodile. Man, that's a long ass name. Um, he's yeah, he's your four drop crocodile. We run two of him, which originally I thought you would run zero for in place of the five drop crocodile, six thousand power. Um, before I go into why, let's I guess just read the crocodile real quick. Blocker, nice, and dawn times one. All block, place one character of cost of two or less to the bottom of the owner's deck. So originally I thought like this would be better all around, but in reality, other than Red, who loves their lower weenies to stay on field, in reality, you're not really uh, ever popping the on block effect. And you're almost never going to swing with it because remember, you want your on blocks. So essentially for one less energy and for the current turn, you will get that Don, you will for its first turn it's played it's the same amount of energy and then subsequent turns the value is just there unless it's red this card is a must of four just because the value of popping the usops popping the sanjis popping the namis there's too much value into this card but in in practice this crocodile does almost virtually the exact same thing and it's a cheaper alternative and for our last bottom card who can it be but the four of Dolph Flamingo himself, 7,000 power, 7 energy to play, and then an on play effect that return one character call, return one character will cost a 7 or less to the owner's hand. Um, as of right now, this card gets around everything. I'm pretty sure. No, except the Kaidos. As of right now, this card gets rid of like 
80% of the things on field, and most of the things you play for high energy unless it's red, doesn't have rush to begin with. Once again, other than the Kaido, but you can't even bounce this with the Kaido anyways. So you're just already stalling their boss monsters. It's a great card. Then it becomes a 7k beat stick that a lot of decks just can't, you know, out, co out counter easily. Next up, we probably have the best blue event card, even in Romance Dawn, which is Love Love Mellow. Probably the best blue event card, also because I mainly see blue purple decks. This is the only blue card they play. <laughs> um, two drop counter. Your leader or one of your characters gain plus 4,000 power during this battle, then draw one card if you have three or less cards in your hand. What can I say? It's not only a 4,000, which in reality, most people are not investing. Like what? for dawn unless they have no other plays on field so it's almost always going to get out of an attack for you and then if you have low amount of cards it helps you cycle once again i've seen blue play blue likes to keep a healthy hand but if blue purple comes out this is good as of right now it's definitely a, it's definitely the best negate or best counter and yeah i think it is the best counter currently next up we have the two drop Thrust Pad Cannon is what my girlfriend calls me if I had a girlfriend. <laughs> counter, return one character with a cost of three or less to the owner's hand trigger. Activate this card's counter effect. Now, two things. First, an interesting thing is it doesn't actually say opponents. So you could, uh, you could actually bounce up any card you wanted to save. Um, for example, let's say you swung with your Sentomaru because you're a greedy bish, but then you're like, I want my Sentomaru back. He, they target it, you counter, bring it back, and you saved it. Or, and what I prefer, is either because of how the One Piece card game is, it's a, it goes blocks, counters, autos. You could either block with your law, now they're forced to attack the law as your target, or even your Boa Hancock, which she is a 3-drop, um, use Thrust Pad Cannon to counter that, and then just pick up the block target, and then the attack is essentially nullified because their attack was already directed to that and then the uh, character itself is just off field. 100% for blue that loves, loves, loves to stall, that's in effect, that's a very effective way to just keep not only your own hand and field size presence, but just to stop an extra hit and then have that precious, precious blocker that stops every hit in the game unless they have, you know, blocker immunity um to save your life for later next up and the last card is your four drop sables main return one character with cost of seven or less to the owner's hand trigger activate this card's main effect essentially it is a doflamingo without the doflamingo um what can i say other than it's pretty good it's really good in fact mirror match it even bounces the doflamingo um, I literally won against green just because I somehow, I, I, I swear I didn't cheat, FBI don't arrest me, literally drew into like three of these every time they played kid, I uh, sabled it, next turn they played kid, they're like there's no way they have a second sable, sabled it, next turn they played kid, they're like there's no way they have a third sable, sabled it, literally, it literally stopped him because for like three turns in a row, he literally invested all of his energy into a one play that I stopped with for energy. So, yep, yeah, that's the deck. Um, as of right now, that's the complete uh, deck list we have that we feel comfy with. Um, there should be a picture right now to show the full ratios. There should be like text on the side showing you the exact ratios as well in case the picture is a little messy. And yeah, that's our deck list. Tell us how you think the deck is. Tell us what you think we got wrong. If you even brought it down to a locals yourself to try testing it out. See if you tell us if it worked for you. If it didn't work for you, tell us if you know. I don't know. Just tell us stuff. I love you. Uh, other than that, have a great, fantastic day. And yeah, bye bye. <laughs>